right there. Oh, it's a hog egg. Oh, shit, what's that? And it's a big dog. Oh, yeah, that's a big dog. Out. Get him back. Yeah. Beautiful little doggy. Mega. Argus 165 in Fusey. Welcome to another video. This one is a big one heading out into the Coral Sea for three nights, four days fishing, um, remote Coral Sea, 250 kilometers out. Uh, we've got the once in a year weather window and I'm super excited. Can't wait to get out there. There's some incredible fish way out in the sea mount in the coral sea. You know it's a big trip when it's over a thousand bucks just to uh, fuel up to get out there. 133 nautical miles that way. Finally made it out here after six hours of driving. A little bit of wind around, but we're here and it looks amazing. The water's so clear. I'm that excited to get a lure on and have a cast. I think I'm gonna have to straight away. Oh shit, what's that? JT, right in there. Oi, don't go for the pole! Get yeah, back it out! I think there's heaps of them in there. Good now? Yep, be right now, he's coming out on the sand. Man, they look tiny in the water, but they're not that small. Fuck. Better than you catch off Mission Beach. Man, they look tiny compared to what they are. They just got even bigger. Holy shit! That's a good day. All right, not a bad. First fish of the trip. Oh, thought it was smaller than that, but uh, he's actually a pretty good fish. Get the hooks out, get him back. Water is incredibly clear. Looks like you're fishing in a swimming pool, that's for sure. In the Shit, yeah, a bit of pressure on there. What are we running? Oh no! <gasps> he's in there, but he's like a meter job, man. He's huge. Keep him coming. You got him out. You got him out. Keep him coming. Just keep, keep him coming. coming. Yep, go reverse. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. He's got him out. And it's a big dog! Oh yeah, that's a big dog! <laughs> Shit yeah, that's a trout. That's a big trouty. Yeah, lead him in right now. Oh, that's, that's a dino. <laughs> yeah, that's a big dino. What a start. What a fish, man. So cool, them things. Good to go.
No, nah, just quite strange. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. GT though, isn't it? It's bluefin. Oh. Big trout. Big trout. He's in a good position at the moment. Yeah, swing hard. Yeah, left. swing hard left. He's in a good position. This bit will test ya. Yes. Oh, two dinos in a row. That's hectic. That's sick. Five minutes after Craig's big dino. Another one. Flat's long dog. Watch out, Jimmy, he's coming in. Nice one. Good flats, long ears. Nice flats, long nose. Might keep him for dinner. Look at the big nose on him. Flats fishing went a bit quiet. Just thought we'd have a bit of a troll while we had a sounder for a doggy jig spot. And uh, double hook up on the pacemakers. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, nice shark nado on that one. That's a real nice shark nado. Get its head so you can see oh, what it is. Wow, that's a big shark nado. Oh, yeah, uh, zero pounds. Classic uh, trolling her to see me on, eh? Jimmy just got this mega trout, stuck him on the mat. He's like 85. Big fat fish though. Sick man. Hold him up. Mega. The dino. Alright. Only like 20 metres from where Jimmy got his big trout. Nailed another dino, Pelagus 165 in Fusey, all time favourite. The hook's out, get it back. Alright, it's good to get a few good fish on the flats like that. Uh, now we only got about an hour of light left, so we've got the jigs tied on, we're just having a sounder around, see if we can find somewhere where a doggy might be hanging out. We've never fished here before, so we don't have any marks, but we're going to have a sounder and drop a few jigs, see if we can catch a doggy before last light. <laughs> No. Oh, gone. Somebody land one, please. They're all over this bait ball down there. Craig's definitely got a doggy. Come on. No. As soon as we hit the bait. Oh, it's got shark. No! Oh, good. Did I get snipped on the way down? You're kidding! Probably sharks all over, actually. Maybe don't drop. I just got snipped straight off. What do you got? Yep, he's got a doggy and he's got it past the sharks. Woo! Yeah, that's that's sick! That is sick! Oh, no! Yeah, quick, pump him. Don't give him anything. There's heaps of sharks there. Oh, I've got a shark already. Oh, the shark just got you. Shark just got you, Trev. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, you might get a head. Quick. Just pull as hard as you can. May get a head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you got a shark now. No, oh, you got a head. Trev's was whole, like right there, five meters away. It was whole five meters away, and then that classic. It just did one last dig.
Jesus. Is that it near the bottom? No. Fighting like a big ass cod or something. Big dino. Big dino or something. Sharks. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> It's all happening. That's a doggy. It's going pretty good here. It's going very good. Oh, sharks are on him. They're on him. Oh, he's done it. He's got one hole. He's got one hole. He's got Trevor as well. Oh, what? Got off. still there. Trevor, Trevor might be tangled around it. Oh, it's right there. Trevor, your line's tangled around it. Got it? Are <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? Here, hold it up, hold it up. I'm rolling the GoPro. That's sick. Well, there we go. After heaps of roastings, Jimmy finally got a whole one in. Rib cage, 150 gram grammar. Not a big one, it'll do. Let's see if we can get a better one, eh? Get roasted again. Yeah, you're gonna just keep pumping him. Really yep, just keep pumping him. Yes! See colour and I can't see any sharks. Oh, it's his mate! It's his mate! Why do the sharks not eat them? Right. Alright, just made it in to uh, the anchorage where we're going to stay tonight. It was awesome to uh, get a few shots of doggies there the last couple of hours. But uh, true doggy form, heaps of smokings, but pretty good day. Some bloody good fish landed, so looking forward to tomorrow. But uh, we're just going to cook some dinner here. We're having uh, long tail fish wraps, so eat that as the sun goes down. Look at this, this is living. Fans heating up. Yeah. Long nose emperor in Moroccan spices. Jimmy's got the salad on. We're having uh, fish wraps. It's gonna be epic as the sun goes down. All right, day two. Here we go. Uh, it's about five o'clock in the morning. The sun's just coming up. We're just waking up after a pretty dodgy night's sleep. But uh, got the coffee on the go. Gonna have some breakfast and uh, head to a new part of the reef. We haven't fished yet. Good day ahead, hopefully. We got the better tides in the morning. So this morning we got a really good run of tide till 11 o'clock. So hopefully we can find some big fish on the flats before then. This way we're meant to go. <laughs> Craig's got his cereal, he's pretty happy with that. <laughs> all right, we're all into it. Casting the flats straight up. I'm driving two up the front, one down the back. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully a few big trout or a sea perch. Yeah, big trout. But reverse, reverse. No, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, the bass got it. The bass got it. There was a big trout there. Oh, I swear the trout got it. Don't let us get sucked in there, Jim. What is this? Oh, Rassy! Rassy! Woo! That's a nice little double on the flats to start the day. Maybe just starting the fire. There we go, it's not a bad double off the flats to start the morning. Hopefully, they're just firing up. Rass on the 165. Great, got a nice blue spot. See you, Rassy. Oh, it's 
something different. No, Another no, lipper. No. Another lipper. Oh, sorry, yellow. Another lipper. Beautiful lipper. Damn it! Coming. Got it. Oh, it's a bass. I thought it was a trout. Bass-tastic. The red bass, quite a bit of fun anyway. Thought he was a nice trout. Fish. Great bend in the vanquish. Absolutely dominating the fish. It's a bass. Bass. Nice bass. So we're getting some good action along this uh, flat edge now. A few good fish coming in. Hopefully soon we can get something real big. Here you can have your spot back. I've got a nice blue fin. That's oh, a long nose. Not a bad one either. Take him. Go yeah, nice. Uh... Long nose again on the 165, they love the 165 on the flat. Get the hooks out, let this one go. Pretty good for dinner last night, but we don't need another one. I'm just letting me bloody long nose go. See ya, mate. Jimmy's gone and donked a big topwater jobby. Oh, that's a hogget. Come on, surface. Nice. Now that is a cracking flat jobby. Big doggy. Is it? Yep. Pull it out and we'll leader him. We'll try and let him go if we can. Alright, get me the leader. Get us the leader. That is epic edge for a doggy. Good fish too. On the pacemaker. Done the damage there. Yeah, go. Yep. Big reefy, straight up. <laughs> Big tree up. Twenty six, but chance of being a hundred in like a minute. Thirty seven. Silver, don't be a bullfin. I want to be silver. No. 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 That is crazy. Well, thought we'd have a jig where the doggy was. Hooked that beautiful trout and just got sharked on him. Sucked so bad. That was a big blue spot. Alright, another doggy on the trial. Getting a couple, which is good. Old pacemaker doing the damage. Yep. Beautiful little doggy. Ready? Send him. He'll be right, I reckon. Gone. Straight to the bottom. Yeah, that should do, Jimmy. Take the speed back now. Yep. Can you get any cranks or not? Just keep going. Hard as you can. This one in. Yeah, that's it. That's good. Crank him. Yeah, yeah. Looking right colour, but it's looking small. If it is one. Young fella. Very young. Right one though. Another dog to the list. Another dog sees its day, eh? Got oh, it. Send him. Right? Yeah. Alright, that's uh, three doggies to the tally now and uh, smoked by a couple of real big ones. Uh, all on the pacemaker there, but 
We're just going to finish trolling the edge of this reef and then we're going to go back flats fishing. The tide should be going again, so we'll see if we can get a few more fish on the flats. Yep. A few trout there. Oh, no! Got him out. Oh, bass. A few bass there. Not trout. Not trout. Not, that's trout. Oh. Oh. Nice flat bass. Get him back. See what else we can get here. Oh, it's it wrapped. Have you seen it? Yeah. Uh, that way, Trevor, in, please. Yeah. All right, slow down, slow down. Coming under you. Yeah. So whatever you got to do. Big fish. Uh, oh, Trevor, just get ready to chase the shit out of it. Go, 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 Trevor. Keep chasing it wherever it goes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good at the moment. Yeah, it's going. Shit, could get dangerous in here. Just go reverse for a second. Is he? Yeah. No, he's uh, not. He's on, the, he's on it. He's on the right. Pumped over the edge there. So, he's just found the pan. Fell off the back of the boat last night while we are at anchor. We thought we were going to have to cook the steaks on a pair of flies, but we're right. All right, that was another massive day. Uh, we just made it back to the anchorage. Um, the sun's going down. Beautiful sunset, but getting dinner on the go. Dinner tonight, we got steaks. Uh, we're just having a whiskey and coke as the sun goes down. Pan's heating up for the steaks. Bloody awesome day again. Uh, spewing me, lost three really good fish, two big doggies on the troll, and then that massive GT that Jimmy hooked that um, snapped us off. It was a bit of a spew. To get one of those would have been awesome, but still some cracking fish, big trout, wrath, all the good stuff on the flats. No uh, doggies on the jig this afternoon, but that's all right. Um, we're gonna cook dinner a bit earlier and do it all again tomorrow. So get these steaks on. All right, day three, sun's just coming up. Had a much better sleep last night. I reckon we're on for some big fish today. Having some breakfast, some coffee, and uh, then we'll go out and start fishing the flats, I think. Keep driving out, keep driving out, don't drive in there. Keep driving out. Keep driving out. Uh, that was a big rush. Oh, 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 here we go. Out of gear, out of gear. Yep, yep, it's a big one. It's a big one, I can No, 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 no. Don't let me get pulled in there. It's got this sick doggy on the trial. It's a real nice one. So good. All right, that was sick. We just spotted this sail. And uh, the scad lord here caught a scad on jig. And we dropped it in front of it and it ate it. Now it's fish on. Yeah, don't go too hard on the bar. <laughs> come on, come up. Here he is. 
gone. Gone. Spat it. Damn, he just spat it right there. Keeps going that way, doesn't he? Yep, good. Good doggy. Good doggy. Woo. Woo. Shit, yeah. The doggy on the troll. Been losing enough on jigs to sharks. Could be having in the boat though. More with him, heaps more with him. If you want to drop and catch one doggy. More doggies. Yeah, yes. more doggy. Oh, shark on it now. Shark just got it. What? Nice. Oh, it's bleeding. There's heaps more with it. having a little soft vibe on last light after getting towed up by those doggies on the troll and the jig. Got a few nice ones, but uh, pulling up a few nice trout now on the soft vibe. Pretty fun fishing actually. Oh, fluty! <laughs> you are joking me. That shark bit you off and I got a flutey. <laughs> oh. Might be just stunned now. No, you're gone. Look how loose your line is. Oh, that's doggy. Doggy. Sick. That's goals right there. That is. Goals right there, Craig down the back, nailing top water dog. Woo! Top water doggy, that is very cool. Boy spear. Alright, send him back. Alright, that's it, end of another big day. Uh, plenty of good fish caught. It's awesome to top it off with those few good doggies, but we're just heading back into the anchorage behind the reef now. Cook some dinner as the sun goes down. Alright, morning, day four, last final day. I'm just gonna have a fish till about 10 o'clock this morning and uh, head for home. Still got that six hour drive, so got the coffee on the go and then I think the plan is we're gonna hit the flats and maybe have one final jig for a doggy but uh, hopefully final morning we can land that monster oh he's a good trout he's a really good trout keep me in this hole Whoa. Yeah. Oh. 
Got a bit of low down power on him, this boy. <laughs> right. That's a big one. It's a big first light, Trouty. I'm gonna grab him? Yep. Swing him in. Got leader. Probably just swing him if you want, but. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. That's got to be push a 90, doesn't it? You better put that one in the comp. That is full dyno on the 165. Brand new one tied on for the last morning. Stoked I did with that. Here's a hogger. Get the hooks out, get him back. Oh, that's got to be a dog. Back it out, back it out. Back it out, quick. Get out and deep. Oh, he's going in there. He's going in though. He's going over. Shit, man. Oh, he's on the surface there. He's on the surface. Hopefully he comes out. It's got to be a dog. It was an explosive take. Man, that was an explosive take. I'd be pretty nervous right now. Are you pretty nervous? Yeah, keep driving out, I reckon, with him. Yep, go that way, Craig, and forward. Ooh, it's doggy colorish. Has he done it? Has he nailed a 20 kilo topwater doggy? It's the holy grail on the big popper. Well, I think he's done it. Oh, GT. Bugger. Good GT. Good GT. <laughs> the intensity has dropped considerably since he's realised it's a GT. <sighs> Give me that leader, I'll get him for you. Oh, it's a hog it! <laughs> it's a big unit. Good? Yep. It's a big horn dog, yeah, you're gonna have to grab the leader. Oh, it's a big horn dog. Yep. Hang on. Good. Hang on. All right, now we're good. Oh. That's, that's, that's a banger, mate. That's a banger. That is sick. Yeah, that's full punter spec, that. All right, you can probably send him. All right. Whew. Oh, it's a doggy. He's got a doggy out of all that. That's phenomenal. Phenomenal work, Craig. Phenomenal work. Here we go, nice one on the 100 gram rib cage. All right, that's it. We had our quick morning fish. I uh, got that big trout, Jimmy got that big GT, and uh, we had a jig for the doggies, but it was nowhere near as good as yesterday. Craig got a little one. Um, we way to finish the trip off. Now we've got the big run home. Weather's looking pretty good, thankfully. So, uh, next six hours, smashing it away towards home. I'm trying, yeah. Oh, got it. Yep, got him. That one was angry. Oh, no. Oh, he shot one. He's got one. Yeah. You got him? Shit, yeah. That's sick. Yep, got him right there. Yeah! Oh, come here. You're kidding. Gun. Alright guys, so that was an absolute magic trip out there in the Coral Sea. I uh, forgot to do a piece to camera on the way in, but we actually found that school of dolphin fish uh, out in open water in 3,000 metres. And um, yeah, we stopped off midway home and threw some lures at them and Jimmy speared that big one. And that was just an incredible experience to top off a bloody great trip. But yeah, it was a great trip out there, super remote. Um, you know, you're exposed to elements out there, but the fishing is just uh, so much better than inshore. 
so many big trout and just so many good opportunities at fish. Um, Spewing, I lost those two big rafts. They just go for home so quick and there's nothing you can do to really stop those big rafts when they get in a cave. But uh, back home now, unpacked all the gear and I'll just do a bit of a gear run through of the stuff that I used out there. So the jig rods I was using are the Samaki Vanquishers. Uh, this model here is the SVX581SH. Uh, this is the 200 to 300 gram jig model. Uh, great all round jig stick. Um, still got enough power for stopping those doggies. Really enjoyed using that. Uh, the top water, I was using the Samaki Vanquish top water. This model here is the SVX7112. SXH top water, uh, seven foot 11. That's the heaviest one in the range. Um, beast of a rod. It was perfect for doing what I did out there. I also had the one that's slightly longer, the eight foot one that is uh, slightly lighter and that was also really good. Um, match both the jig sticks and the top waters with just the 18K Saragossa. Uh, they work awesome and you can have a couple of them in your arsenal in case one stuffs up on a remote trip like that. But uh, yeah, they're pretty bulletproof, no issues at all. And in terms of lures, uh, through a lot of the jack fins, the Pelagus 165S, that got me a lot of good fish, that one. Um, awesome lure. Uh, for all the jigging, we just use the Samaki rib cages in a range. You can see that one's fully chewed up from doggies and all sorts of stuff, made it home from the trip. But yeah, they were awesome as well. And I've got plenty of bites on the Vibalicious when we're just playing around on the deeper stuff. But uh, yeah, all my braids, I'm running X braid, full drag. This stuff's super tough. Um, I've got the number eight here, which is actually 120 pounds, perfect for GTs and all that other stuff. And then the X braid absorber leader. This stuff is great to tie with, and it's really strong as well. Use that in 100 pound and 200 pound, but mostly 200 pound out there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all the tackle. Um, it was a magic trip. Really love that trip. You usually only get the weather window once a year to do it, but yeah, incredible fishing out there. You go a long way to catch big trout like that, and that uh, 93 centimeter one on the last morning topped off a great trip for me. But uh, yeah, plenty more videos on the way, guys, so if you like that one, make sure you subscribe, and I'm gonna be dropping one every two weeks from now on. So thanks for watching another video, guys. Cheers.